Hello boys and girls, welcome to Bench Hard Time for Classic and welcome to Knockout City, a game developed by Vevon Studios and it is using their Viper engine. So today what I'm testing in here, it is my GT740M which should be equivalent to a GT920M and I'm running the game at 720p using the both settings using dynamic resolution scaling. And so by using these dynamic resolution scaling, what I do have, it is an experience about 30 with averages of 52 and the 1% of 45. As without dynamic resolution scaling, unfortunately the result it isn't that good because the game at some sequences, it does drop below 30 frames per second so looking to the requirements this case this game specify that you need to have an e3 so a dual core cpu at 3.8 which we don't have that they also say that you should have 8 gigs of ram we have that but they also say that you need a gtx 660 desktop and our gt 740m it is weaker than that so despite we are below the minimum requirements we are able to play the game just fine it's not locked at 60 frames per second and it's not getting above 60 for the most part, but it is still playable. Alright, the only downside is that the game stutters a little bit. It doesn't stutter as much as my Intel integrated GPU, but still sometimes it might cause you to, in a split second, to fail to catch the ball or something like that. And that is really annoying, but apart from that the game it is super playable. In my opinion, this is a very old GPU, so I'm surprised that we are actually playing the game and you can play competitively against many many other people out there around the world just fine without too much excuses. So let's talk a little bit about the game. Uh, Knocked Out City, I was expecting this game to be free to play, so I was a little bit surprised to see that it is not a free to play game. This game costs you 20 dollars or 20 euros, it can be brought through Origin, Steam, Epic Store, it will be also available for PS4, Xbox, Nintendo Switch and it will be cross platform, so you can have friends in or enemies in each platform so it will be available worldwide for every single platform out there so there will be players for sure playing this but like i was telling you it is not a free to play game which costs you 20 dollars uh, which is you know it's a little bit complicated because we have tons of free to play games already and seeing a game like this and being asked for $20 it doesn't feel right. I was expecting this to be free to play at first. I, I, I mean, it really looks like a free to play game to me, but it's not. But that's not the full story though. If you have, a, if you are a subscriber of Xbox Game Pass on the PC, or if you are a subscriber of EA Play, I think you don't need to have EA Play Pro. I think the basic EA Play it is enough. You will be having access to Knockout City. So if you are using any of these services, this game will be there for free. You don't need to pay specifically for this game uh, if you have Xbox Game Pass or EA Play. Alright, so that's one of the things that you should know about this game. So if it happens that you are subscribed because any other reason, you will notice that you, you will have access uh, to this game. But apart from that, you know, this is a typical game which uh, you can personalize your own brawler, you can change the appearance. I'm sorry for the appearance of my own brawler, but I just randomized this this brawler. I didn't care about it, I just wanted to know uh, about the performance of this game. Uh, so I just randomized and my old player. But yeah, it's the type of game where you personalize your brawler and um, the type of game that every time you start there is a, a different power up going on with the balls so it's kind of an interesting game but i think that this is a type of game if ea doesn't push up very you know very in a very strong way uh, i think people will grow tired of it and it will end up uh, being kind of forgotten but who knows i think uh, Apex, it is going fine, in my opinion, so who knows how this game goes, it depends, at least it is available on all platforms, so that's a good thing, but let's see how it goes, um, regarding the success that EA will be having in this game. Now the good thing about this game is that 
Despite it is supported by EA, it's really just this. Vivant Studios are the developers of this game, it's not EA. This game takes part of the EA Originals program. EA Originals program, the only thing they do is support financially uh, the studios that are inside this program and support them marketing wise so they don't say they don't have the power to say the developers to no 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 you need to do this no 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 you need to put microtransactions on your game no that's not really the case games that take part on EA originals like it takes two are usually successful games because they don't follow the rules of EA games they just get the support of EA games and pretty much that's about it so let's see how it goes so guys thank you much for watching hope you did enjoy the video and I do hope to see you soon goodbye